Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jane Ahern and I am a nutritionist who specialises in sports nutrition and I work at the Perfect Balance Clinic in London. Um, I am currently uh, working from home due to COVID-19 and I'm available for uh, video consultations at home. So if you do want um, any nutritional advice um, for exercise or for immunity um, at present, send me an email and we'll get you booked in. Um, I made a video the other day about um, improving immune function and seeing as I'm a sports nutritionist I thought I would speak to or make this video for um, athletes, uh, in particular athletes who currently supplement with protein or whey protein. Um, during this time I think uh, optimizing your health and immune response is very important. You can do that with exercise. Um, but if you are taking protein on a regular basis, and if you're thinking of um, buying some more, maybe consider switching from whey protein to colostrum. Um, I have a bag here, I don't know if you can see on the back, colostrum. Um, this is what I tend to use when trying to build muscle mass. It is not necessarily better at increasing your muscle mass compared to whey protein, um, but it will do pretty much the exact same job. Um, however, the further benefits of bovine colostrum are that it contains lactoferrin, which is really important um, for your immune response. And it also contains antibodies um, that are called immunoglobulins, immunoglobulin A, G, and M, or IgA, IgG, and IgM. These are really important. So these are antibodies that are contained in the mucous membranes um, in your lungs, your sinuses, stomach, intestine, um, they be in your saliva, your blood, um, tears even. Um, but they are what is really important um, for fighting off any kind of bacteria or virus, any sort of infection that you might get. Um, so, as I say, if you find you're running out of whey protein and you still want to keep taking your protein shakes um, and build muscle mass, um, then maybe for the time being, consider um, improving your health and maybe switching for a short time uh, to colostrum. Um, I think it tastes pretty much the same. Um, another thing I wanted to discuss about it, if you're an elite athlete and you compete and you are tested for things like growth factors, just be aware, colostrum contains um, growth factors, insulin like growth factor 1 and 2, so IGF-1 and IGF-2 are contained in bovine colostrum. These are banned by WADA, which is the World Anti-Doping Agency. Um, so even though they're naturally contained in colostrum, it's not banned or prohibited by WADA, but it's not really recommended because in case you're tested and you've been taking the um, protein, it might come up that you've got um, high levels of growth factors in your blood, which might then prohibit you from entering the competition. Um, other than that, um, it is safe to use, as I say, it naturally contains the growth um, factors. So if you aren't competing, um, it is completely safe to use and could help you uh, further improve immune function. So just something to consider um, to those wanting to increase their muscle mass. Um, on a side note, if you are finding it difficult to exercise now that everyone is self-isolating, or hopefully everyone is self-isolating um, as much as possible, um, you might find that maybe the type of exercise you're doing has changed. Maybe you're doing less strength and conditioning and more cardiovascular endurance exercises like going for runs or cycles on your own in a park. Um, maybe you don't have the equipment that you normally use at the gym. So if your exercise has changed slightly and you're worried about your nutrition and the uh, macronutrients that you're uh, consuming, might need to be altered, might need to change the ratio a bit. So if you are concerned about this and you want to continue to keep the body um, or the physique you uh, need or want, um, feel free to get in touch and we can take a look at what you're consuming and what exercises you're doing and how we can alter that so that you still um, get the full benefit and you're getting
getting all the nutrients you need to perform the exercise and maybe even enhance it. Um, so yeah, that's all from me from now. As I say, maybe switch to the last term for the time being just to help improve the intensity. Thanks guys, talk to you soon, bye.